Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video day. And today the Houston Astros lose the Minnesota Twins 3-2. to And I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't disappointed with the Astros after this loss. I think any Astros fan uh, would probably be disappointed after this loss that they had today. But I'm not worried. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. Uh, I just, you know, don't like the way that the outcome of this game happened. Um... You know, I think what the Astros showed in the last two games is that they are human. They are not, uh, you know, they're they're not robots. I mean, I don't I don't know what way to say it. They, what they showed in the last two games with the way they played, losing three to nine on Saturday and three to two today, is that they're not. The, 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 sorry, that they are human. That even though you know we have seen them this season absolutely just lose in ball game after ball game, recently in the last couple months. Uh, or in the last month, or maybe over the last month, the Astros have been able to dominate. Literally since June, they've been dominating uh, games. And, you know, today they showed, or the last two games they showed, uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit tired. And that's what I noticed in these last two games, is the Astros were only able to score five runs in the last two games. They had only, you know, they gave up 12 runs in the last two games. I think they showed us all in the last two games. They are tired. And they could use playing a bad team like the Miami Marlins in the next three games. And being back home, I think, is going to be a huge uh, momentum for this for this Houston Astros team. This was a, a three-game road trip. A three-game – sorry, sorry, a seven-game road trip, which a seven-game road trip, I want to add that the Astros managed to go four and three in. Um, yeah, right? Yeah, four and three they went on the road trip. So I'm not disappointed. The Astros leave this road trip with a f uh, over a 500 record. Um and uh, wait, no, no, this was this was more than a. Sorry, I, I apologize. This this was a ten game road trip, road trip because this started with New York. I forgot about the Met series. So uh, and then they they won they won two out of the the they won the two out of the three games against the New York Mets. So uh, that means they finished the road trip going six and four. So being on the road ten games can definitely take a toll on you and. Uh, Leaving this road trip six and four, I th I think is great. And some you know the, when they went into this road trip, they didn't have a record of over five hundred. They do now; they're forty six and forty four. So I think for them to come back home and play these next six games at home, and you know once you you know wrap up this this next six games at home, and then you have the All Star break, and these guys can take some time off the pitching, which I think is really needed. Can take some time off. And the Astros, uh, if you can if you can finish off these next six games in a good note, I think things will be great for this Astros team. Uh, I, I would say if you can go out there and get four to five wins in the next six games, going up against two weaker teams at home like the Rangers and the Marlins, that'd be great for this team. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go over this game. I'm not happy about the way this out you know the out the outcome happened in this game, but I I'm still confident in this team because. What makes me it's what makes me you know care not not care a whole lot about the Astros losing this game is that the Mariners lost today as well. You know, I also think about the fact that the Astros could have you know kind of blew an opportunity because it could have uh, been only one game under under the division. Um, you know, one game back from leading this division if you know if if they they would have been able to pull through this one. But at the same time, I don't want to think that way, and uh, so. They remain two games back from the division with the Mariners losing the last two games, just like the Astros did. So that's a huge plus. And now uh, the Mariners are, are going up against the Padres on the road. A Padres team who's been just as good as them, if not better. Uh, and the Padres are really good at home. So with the Padres being good at home, I like the Padres in the in the series against the Mariners. I, I really think they could win potentially both games against the Mariners. I think that series will be interesting. But then the Astros here are going up against a Miami Marlins team who's 31 and 58, three games at Minute Maid Park. So uh, I think the next two games for the Mariners and the next three games will be very interesting for the Astros. And if I, I think there's a very solid chance the Astros could be leading the division by the end of the All-Star break. But like I said, if you can get four or five wins in the last six games before the All-Star break, that'd be spectacular, uh, especially going up against two weaker teams. All right, let's go over this game. The Astros lose 3-2, to two, 11 hits for the Twins, five for the Astros, one error in the ballgame. That goes to the Astros. Zero errors for the Twins. Win goes to Duren. Uh, 
or Duran, he's four and three on the year now. He pitched one in and giving up one hit, zero runs, one strikeout, one walk. Fortunately, Josh Hader does give up the game-winning home run to Christian Vasquez, the former Houston Astro. Uh, he only gave it that one hit and that one earned run and uh, didn't get any outs in the inning. That was the first batter uh, he faced in the ninth inning was a home run. Uh, so Josh Hader's been pitching great recently, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to take – I'm not going to get too upset about the way he pitched in this series. He did give up a couple home runs to Correa and Vasquez, two former Houston Astros. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he'll he you know he's not been giving up a lot of runs recently. Yes, he did give up two runs in this series. At the same time, he has been pitching great baseball before then, uh, but not so great in this series. Hopefully, he can put this series behind him. All right, scoring summary: Astros scored the first two runs in the ball game in the second inning and. End up taking the 2-0 lead. Second inning, Salzar sacrificed fly to left. Singleton scored its 1-0, his seventh RBI of the season. Jose Altuve, who did not play yesterday, hits an RBI single to left. Myers scored McCormick to second. It's 2-0. And then, look, basically the only problem today was Kristen Vasquez. I mean, look, the, yesterday's Twins lineup have 11 hits, but... He, he did all the scoring. I mean, Vasquez was a huge problem in this game. Second inning, he hits an RBI single to left. Buxton scored. Uh, Walner to third. It's 2-1. to one. And then in the fourth inning, Vasquez, Vasquez hit grounds into Fielder's Choice at third. Lee scored. Vasquez thrown out at second. Walner out at, at second. Uh, so that was a double play right there. 2-2 two to two ties the game. Vasquez is RBI. Um, so... Uh, where, where is he in the lineup? He's he bats, um, he bats ninth in the lineup. But he had all three RBIs, and then obviously it's that home run in the, in the ninth inning. So he 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 bat he he would end up batting ninth in the lineup uh, tonight today. And he had three RBIs. He went two for four. He had one run, scored a you know hit a home run as well, and was responsible for every single run they or every. He brought in every single run that they scored in this game. So uh, without Christian Vasquez, most likely the Astros would have won this game 2-0. to zero. Um, But so Astros hitters today went uh, – we'll go over all of them. Uh, nobody had two hits today in this Astros lineup. But Altuve went 1-4 for four with his RBI single. Jeremy Pena went 0-4. for four. Bragman went 1-4 for four with a first inning single to right. Yanner Diaz went one for four. He played DH and was at catcher today. He had a single to right in the ninth. John Singleton went one for four with a second inning single to left. He scored a run. We also had Mauricio Dubon going 0 for four. Jake Myers went 0 for two, scored a run, and had a walk in the ninth inning with a walk in the second inning. So run scored with two walks for Jake. Chas McCormick went 0 for three in this game. I don't yeah, he had a walk to load the bases in the second inning. That was it for Chaz. Salazar went 0 for 1. He had the sacrifice fly in the second inning and then lined out. Joey Liperfito would come in the game for him as a pinch hitter in the eighth inning, would double to left, but the Astros, unfortunately, were not able to bring any runs in in, the, in that eighth inning. Uh, both Josh Hader and Ryan Presley, uh, or Josh Hader would have potentially uh, had to make an at-bat in the 10th inning if it went that far in the 10th inning uh, because the Astros uh Ruled out. The Astros uh, killed their DH when they brought in Joey Loperfito for Cesar Salazar, and that when they did that, they had to bring in Yanner Diaz to uh, catch, who was already DHing. So they they forfeited their DH. So uh, the Astros potentially would have had to had a pitcher hitting in this game if the game went any farther. Joey Loperfito had that double, uh, and Trey Cabbage uh, could have had a at bat in this game as he came in the game to play right field for Chas McCormick, who was taken out of the game, but he didn't have any at-bats. But he did play in right field uh, later in the game. Let's go over to Astros pitching. Spencer pitched five innings. He had seven hits, two earned runs, two walks, six strikeouts. He wasn't terrible at all. Uh, yes, he does give it seven hits, but only two runs given up in five innings. Not bad. Brian King pitched the six, gave up one hit with one strikeout. He still continues to pitch amazing. Brian Abreu pitched the seventh. Uh, you know, he did give up one hit, but he had a strikeout. Ryan Presley was great in the eighth against his former team. He has had a great series against his former team. And his ERA is under four now. Uh, first time in, a, I think, maybe all season his ERA is under four at 3.89 now. He pitched the eighth, giving up one hit, one walk. Uh, zero strikeouts, zero and runs, though. So, yes, he does give up some damage, giving up a hit and a walk. But he gets out of the jam in the 
in the eighth. Obviously, Josh Hader in the ninth was didn't work out too well as he gives a, that home run to Christian Vasquez. But I, I think the Astros will be all right as they enter a three-game series against the 31-58 Miami Marlins. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and peace out. Go Astros.